account that is called validation account first let me show you how it works then i explain you how to set up the validation account for the sake of simplicity i created two two excel templates a smart view first is called profit or statement and second one is called balance sheet the structure is very simple i have a standard balance sheet structure with net income and couple of revenues and couple of expenses as of now do you, you see that my total net profit is 255289 and for the sake of testing i have chosen one product one market uh, and one customer these are my custom dimension okay and these are a couple of my sales account or revenue account as of now my total net profit is 255289 this net profit by default upon consolidation goes to upon consolidation goes to retain earning under balance sheet so the same number you see 255289 if you take a snapshot of it you find these numbers will finally go to your balance sheet account is your retain earning you can compare this this is your balance sheet and we are looking for the entity called e-sales look at e-sales retain earning under the owner's equity to find the same number 255289 okay so let's take a snapshot and see how it works so i put both snapshot together so it would be easy for you to compare okay so now you see this both together this total retain earning upon consolidation net profit copies to to your retain earning for the same entity because i did not have a space therefore i have not taken a snapshot for the same okay so as a result of this uh, right now my balance sheet is balanced you see a total asset is again you can take a snapshot of this and hide total asset and total liabilities focus only on these members the total asset and total liabilities and owners equities are matching as of now okay now what i'm going to do it i'm going to mismatch this by explicitly entering certain additional revenue for example i'm going to enter just one dollar sales revenue as a result of this my net profit would be increased by one dollar which in turn increase my retain earning and as a result of this one balance would be out of balance and this additional number will go to my plug account okay i input this number just hit submit button you see your net profit is increased by one dollar and uh, as a result of this previously it, it was a different value and now there's a different value right it is increased by one dollar and now when you look at your retain earning is still pointing to old value because i haven't done the consolidation yet so my retain earning is still pointing to old value okay so i should put the return value retain earning it is still the same now i'm going to run consolidation and the new net profit will copy to my retain earning and the excess one dollar will go to my plug account surplus account which is validation account okay so let's run the consolidation so you can fairly run consolidation from here itself select your entity run consolidation from smart view consolidation all so it takes probably few seconds post consolidation you see in the surplus value would be increased by one dollar yes so you see a total assets 256195 756195 and my total liability is also 756195 but this excess one dollar has come to my surf surplus is a plug account right so this one dollar you see moves to my validation account one dollar this excess and your retain earning would have recalculated and increased by one dollar now it is two five five two nine zero previously two five five two eight nine see the value increased by one dollar and this excess one dollar 
move to your plug account which is surplus account now what happened the beauty of the tool is once your number is out of balance you can immediately see this out of balance number in your application so go to your data process control refresh you see the validation account the cross red color in entails for each sales my balance sheet is out of balance and the validation account has minus one value surplus account is a validation account this is not balance and the validation has a minus one value so surplus simply checks total asset minus total liabilities okay and offset value will assign to your surplus account because it is not balanced therefore it is showing as a cross i already moved to review level one but if it is not balanced you cannot promote to the next level that is the beauty of the tool it you can promote to the next level only if your system is balanced see so it means system will not let you proceed to the next level next level review is not possible unless you balance it so now let me do the same reverse i'm going to balancing it again so once again i go to balance sheet my profit loss statement and make it zero make it zero it means my surplus value which is minus one for now turn back to zero and it would be balanced i input other revenue turn it back to zero once again my net profit it decreased by one and i would run the consolidation again so my net profit will copy to my retained earning let's run the consolidation and as a result of this your surplus account will back to zero it again takes few seconds after this run and uh, we would refresh the screen and i would see see is validation turn out to be green first look at the numbers so consolidation is done once again your total assets is equal to total liabilities and owners equity and this offset value which is in surplus account has turned back to zero it is zero and once again we look at the process control validation account green and surplus is is zero and that is the beauty of it if your surplus is zero now you can promote to the next level of review first level of review promote to second level of review system will let you do that okay i can move to second level of review so this is the beauty of validation account now how do you do that so how do you set up this step one you create a natural account i create a validation account and named as validation you could give any name but it's recommended to give validation account which in turn i create two children surplus and intercompany match again name you can put any name but it's recommended i put a surplus account so step one you define create a validation account which i've taken a snapshot over here this is step one create a validation account and step second create a validation account step one step second you refer this validation account your application setting under validation so when you go to application setting there's an option called validation account define a validation account name okay so in your application setting define validation account name the second step in application setting define a validation account name right this is second step um step third once you refer this validation account we need to write a formula so that system will calculate a difference between both of them you can write a custom custom procedure so generally we write a process using sub okay, in hfm rule i create a simple procedure over here it's just one line for now sub surplus and i'm calculating difference between total asset and total liabilities okay this value would be subtract and store to surplus so it would be offset by the excess number between both of them so this is how you can define a validation account and through validation account you can quickly validate your balance sheet out of balance and system will not let you 
proceed or promote to the next level. So thank you for joining today's session. Should you have a question, please feel free to write to bhpsolutions.com. Thank you.